I'm Nathan. And I'm Jerry. We are farming our backyard. You're never gonna be able to hear me for the wind, but this is the shock I walked out to this morning. Sitting right across the uh, right across the electric fence. Almost got the future laying hens up here. Today we're at Lehman's. They're unveiling their new tiny house today. Yeah, off grid with Doug and Stacy are here. Two families, the homestead is going to be here. And I think we're going to meet a few other channels, but we'll uh, see for sure later. <laughs> uh, come along with us as we uh, see uh, everybody. If you guys are not knowing who we are, I'm Doug. And I'm Stacy. And we live off grid in the Midwest. Um, it's a little simple life. We left city life eight years ago. Um, I'm not Amish, I'm not Mennonite, I don't claim to be one. I like wearing simple clothes and I'm actually going to do a video for a lot of people who are, have this question on their mind. We're strong believers in keeping our money close to our neighborhood, right? That's what builds community and that's what supports everyone doing this lifestyle. So that's why I dress the way that I do. I like the simple clothes and I want to keep my money in my community. Okay, yes. so that's where I have my clothes made. I can buy clothes anywhere just like a lot of you folks do. But that's where we've intentionally put our money so I can support my neighbors who are living a simple life and that want to stay at home and make money instead of working outside of the house, okay? I don't care how I look, it really doesn't bother me. I looked this way before we started making YouTube videos, so I just want to get that all clear real quick. So some people have some questions about that, okay? So everybody knows. Um, so technology has caught up to us. When we first got there eight years ago, it was a harder process. I would maybe shoot a video, you know, we didn't really do videos that much, like uh, four years, I think, we started the channel. We kind of put one here and there. So I would actually shoot a video on the phone, plug it into the truck, go to bed, and wake up with like 60% left to go. <laughs> right? So like, you know, if you guys can appreciate our older videos, there was a lot of stuff on them. So, but now the technology is finally caught up where we can upload and do videos for you guys, you know, in real time almost. And that's another thing, guys. We're showing you guys probably like a day out. You know, so when you see our videos, that's what's going on. One of the first things that you have to do if you're looking at property is to find out regulations and zoning, okay? The minute that they say they have that, continue looking. The beautiful thing about our country is every state is an individual country. So if you don't like what they got, move. You're not a tree, okay? I know it hurts your feelings and you're gonna miss your family and your friends and everything, but it's worth it. And they'll come visit, I promise. Look at all the people that came to visit us. We sold the house, we sold everything in it. I had, we left with a futon and a coffee table. You just decided that was it. we're gonna start farming. That's it, we're gone. Yeah. Well, the big thing, a big thing was uh, wanting to know for, the food. for me where our food was coming from exactly. because all of us are getting poisoned. Everyone is getting sicker and sicker because of what we're putting in our bodies. And we wanted to know where our food came from. We wanted to, you know, grow our own food. We wanted to raise our own livestock and go from there. And because of that, our health is better than it's ever been. Because we weren't feeling right. You know, you go to the doctor and there's nothing wrong with you, but That's there's something said. wrong. Yeah, there's something not right. So once you change the diet, your body starts healing to nature. And it took for me, you know, a few years for me to get feeling as good as I feel now. But it was through the food, through the diet. Because don't let a doctor tell you that you're going to be sick for the rest of your life because you're or not you're on this medication your forever. Your body wants to heal itself. It's a natural life cycle of your body. And when it knows it's sick, it's going to send things. That's basically what cancer is, guys. It's, it's finding that there's a bad problem and then it's building a wall around it, right? That's what that's it's doing. Tumor. Right. That's a tumor, that's a tumor. Yeah. But actually, if people do get cancer, you should say, you know, and, and that's a note to you saying that you've been doing something right. not right, or maybe you're breathing something that's not right, or there's chemicals. So that's something that should be kind of like a blessing to help you to start to get healthier, you know? We're talking about getting a guard dog. Why did you pick the air terrier? Oh, the list is so long. <laughs> well, we've all, I mean, we've had air there. Right? right. They don't shed, right? They're great family wow. dogs. Like, they will protect you down to the core. They're great around the livestock. It's just a great all around And they dog. get rid of rodents. It's oh. totally opposite. You've never seen a homestead. They have the, you know, the LG dogs, you know, and all that, they have all that stuff. They're great dogs. <laughs> don't let them in your house. <laughs> they like shed hair, like, hey, look at me. 
So just stuff like that. When it turns turn out dinner is just super good. We were we were we were building the cabin, and all of a sudden I call him up, and he he said, "You're not going to believe what happened." And we had a, our first dog, um, Faith. She was still a puppy at the time, and he had nine one hundred dollar bills sitting <laughs> on the counter. That was for the driveway, yeah. <laughs> and so uh, apparently he says that Faith had eaten the nine hundred dollars for no, our No, not meal. apparently. <laughs> he Straight up, the eight. driveway. That was our money for the right. driveway. Yeah. Because we're paying everything cash. So I came in and I'm like on the coffee table and all that money was all shredded up and I'm like, what? And I called the bank right off and I'm like, you're not going to believe it, but my dog like totally shredded and ate this money. And she said, well, bring it down here and as long as the serial number is still visible, they'll replace it. Just so you guys know. But she thought I was coming down to the bank with a baggie full of dog poop. <laughs> So I went in there, but yeah, luckily they did replace all that money, but that was kind of great. Our Amish friends, when we first moved there, they just could not wrap their heads around why we were going backwards when some of them were even trying to move that way, right? And so the story was um, that we were running from the law. <laughs> this, is, this has happened. This is legit. Like, like you know, that, that, that's what causes you know, them to be a little standoffish, right? Um, because, you know, they're, they're protecting what they have and the people are interested in it, but, you know, there's that outside element where it's not, you know, conducive. So there are times when they are meaning well and to help people and it can turn out bad in that kind of way, right? So when we got there, they couldn't figure it out and then there was a rumor started that we were actually running from the law and that my name wasn't even Doug. <laughs> oh, it, was, it got really nuts, though. And then, so what happened was everyone was friendly, and we're going around, and this is sometime into our thing, right? And then all of a sudden, Stacy's coming home. She's like, "They're just treating me not right. Like something's wrong." Like I'm like, "Oh, dear, silly. Like they love us. Everything's fine." She's like, "No, I'm telling you. Like I go to the bank, I got this, and they're treating me. It's different." She can feel it's different. Yeah. And so then she got the story from who told it? Or was it me? Maybe you know he told me. Yeah. Wilmer told me, he says, uh, so the deal is, is that people are standoff right now because there's a rumor going around that your name's not Doug and that you guys are actually hiding from the law. And I was like, holy cow, are you kidding me, right? So I actually got my D, my ID, my this, my everything, and I'm like, I go over there and I lay it all out and I'm like, look, we're totally legit, this is who we are, we're not hiding and running and you know, cops don't, aren't looking for us. And so we got that all straightened out, but that was like one of the crazier parts of our story. And then after that, everything was fine, you know, because then they knew. And now it's been so long that, I mean, we are very tight, you know, so that was very interesting. I was like, wow, that was nuts. Yeah. But you know, it's good to head that stuff off, right? Just like, you know, hey, this is, we're legit. Like, we really are passionate about living a simple life, and we're, and we're here, and we're going to do it. Yeah, and after we had everything done, I had such a great house. My Amish friends, the girls, the girls came to the house, and it was so funny because they were like, because I said our house is little, and then they were like, you do live, you live, you live in a dollhouse. It's not a question. He's like, I know all this being on YouTube, there are still people that say, oh, I know. You, you are real. Somebody, somebody left the comment. Live streams are, yeah. isn't where you live. <laughs> Jennifer, hey, I've been there. Someone just left a comment on a video like two days ago, and they were actually being nice and trying to say this and that. And they were like, "Well, they he lives. Uh, Stacy lives in an apartment when she goes to town or something because they were talking about maybe working off the thing and everything." I'm like, "Ah, uh -uh, no, 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 no. She stays with her aunt. You know, it's a huge difference between like us having an apartment. We live there 24 seven, 365. You were there. Kind of have an open door policy. Like we're kind of cutting back on that just a little bit. But people like to come and everything. You know, we're gonna have class there. But we live there all the time. This is this is the life of Joe." And your, son, and your summer kitchen is awesome. awesome. <laughs> An Airedale Terrier. Airedale Terrier. Now they're the largest of the terriers, and they have the lock jaw like the pit bull, so they don't get the bad rap though because it's not that. Because they're so cute. Right. Like it's fuzzy, but super great protection dog. And the animals. Anytime an animal is born on our property, 
they're right there watching over the young. They play you know, there. They're really walk. good. I mean, just fantastic dog. I can't, I don't want to be like the, um, promoting Airedale Terriers. But they're really good. Oh, she was right there with Oh, she just loves all of them. And then she would take the kittens, bring them down to the house. We had to take the kittens back up. <laughs> slide her all over them. That's a puppy, right? Like, not eat them or anything, but she just, you know, they're just very, they're just great dogs. I can't really talk about them. They really are good. They, have, they handle the heat okay. They're, they're just really great family dogs. Even if you don't have a homestead, they're just a great family dog. I know nothing about fermenting. What do uh, you recommend? Like, how do you get into that? Um, fermenting is very, people are freaked out because of the word. You know, when you say, I'm fermenting, it just sounds like food, you're eating rat food or whatever. Fermenting food has been around, it was a way of preservation for thousands and thousands of years. It's very simple, it's very easy, and um, it's so healthy for you because your, your gut, you, need, you have thousands and thousands of bacteria in there. You need good ones and you need bad ones. And unfortunately, in this day and age, most people have more bad ones. So by eating those probiotic rich foods, it's gonna help, you know, get that balance and it's very good for your body. It'll give you energy and it'll start healing if you have any allergies, possibilities. I mean, it could do so much. So the way to get started would be to watch our playlist on fermenting. We have a whole playlist. She walks you through all the steps really easy. There's a kit that you can get there's, where we save you some money on. And there's a lot of stuff here on fermenting. The Art of Fermenting book like is Like Sand or Cats. There's a book here that is so good and it'll tell you everything you want to know about fermenting. And he's, he's like the master of fermentation. He's, he's done so much research and done so much. And you just need salt, water, and vegetables. You know, it's so easy. And it tastes great. Super good for you. Oh. And it, it's very tart. And ferments last six months to a year, no problem. Oh, wow. Okay. Is it filling when you? Oh my God. Well, you don't want to. You don't eat need a whole yeah. meal. It's still, yeah. You have to cut the table through. Right? Yeah. Most people do like they're like, oh, this is good, and they'll eat the whole jar, <laughs> and then you're bloated and yeah. gassy the whole time. <laughs> it's like you just do. It's good for you. Do things in moderation. You guys know that. It's a spoonful people, or two. Yeah. And it has a side, or you can put it on. Food or you know, in your salad. Like I like to make it spicy, so I'll put it on the sandwiches. I'll put it on the, uh, my salad, or eat it with eggs. It's really good. It's yeah. like a kimchi. Use it as your gut medicine. Like right. Gut medicine. Right. Because you know what? What you're gonna get, like if you make homemade kombucha or if you make yes. a lot of these probiotic, you know, the vegetable, you're gonna get billions of probiotics out of that when you know you're paying all this money to get a probiotic. If you buy supplement. And the thing is, is with probiotics, you know, you don't want to keep eating or doing the same thing. Because your body gets used to it. Yeah. So you want to vary it. So if you do take a good probiotic, um, like one you get out of the refrigerator, you know, refrigerator section that you're going to buy it at the store, I would recommend making it yourself. But you need to change it. Don't keep eating the same thing every day. You want to eat maybe one and day. Just in general for any food you can Yeah. Say. Yeah. So don't eat like I'm eating, I eat oatmeal every single day of my life, you know, change it up. Maybe have eggs, maybe do something different. You know, don't eat the same thing because your body gets used to having the same things over and over and then eventually you can get a vitamin or a mineral deficiency. That's why it says, you know, I'm getting sick thing. of this, right? When you eat the same food over and over, you're literally off. That's why we should eat seasonally, right? right. You're getting that fresh food, you're getting things in season and in that way. You are meant not to eat the same thing. You shouldn't be eating apples all year round. You shouldn't be eating any, eat what's in season and during that time. Then you go ahead, you know, if you're gonna can your apples or do whatever you do, it'll take you through a little bit, but don't eat the same food all the time. In, before the Industrial Revolution, 58.2% of Americans were farmers and they raised their own food. Now it's 1.2%. Wow. Right? Back then they had one doctor for the whole town. Now they have a whole town of doctors for one person. Yeah. Okay, we're talking about, okay, here, I'll talk about something for the immune system. You can do fermented garlic and honey. It's so simple and easy. You put the garlic in, like peel your garlic, you can cut it in half or do whole cloves, stick them in some raw honey, and you let it set at least six months. This will last you years if you make a big jar of It'll take you forever to peel all the garlic. But it'll last for years and years, and it's probably one of the best like uh, immune busters if you feel like you're getting sick. Four cloves of garlic. Well, just wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> so you do it, it basically it's just a great um, way to, to, to help your immune system. If you feel like you're getting sick, just start popping them. Or if you are sick, maybe do three or four during throughout the day. And it's really, really good for you. 
So like now summer's coming, you know, people don't get sick as much. So I would go ahead and start doing your fermented garlic right. when you can, yeah. you know, and then store it and then it'll last you a long time and you just pop it in. You can do the liquid or you can just eat the garlic by itself. Mm -hmm. So I just have them all over the place. The longer it goes, it's gonna get darker. And it's really good. Kids will, kids love it. They'll do the, the liquid and it's really, really good for a new system. Now, he was talking about garlic. You can also do, they say, like if you're sick there, if you look at antibiotics like penicillin or things like that, um, four cloves of garlic is equivalent to a dose of penicillin or you know, antibiotics. So if you're sick, you can crush it. You're gonna have bad breath. But you know, if you can get that in some soup, get it in somehow, put it in a drink or however you wanna do it, that's gonna help you. Jerry had to try out the uh, real mower here that everybody gets to try out in all the layman's videos. We were there last year. She didn't get to try it out at all. The chicks are back inside under the heat lamp. Because it was too cold and rainy out. We lost a couple more today. I guess we lost about five today. We lost one yesterday for being too cold out. So we, we brought it back inside the garage. Here's the uh, nipple watering system. So this piece right here, I bought that, the hose, and then this piece and the bucket with a screw top lid to water them. And I just rebuilt the system that I had before. Here's that, in the daylight, here's that tree that came down last night. And came down right across the electric fence. Now, I checked already, it, it's not grounding it out, so I went ahead and left the electric fence on so that I can keep powering the laying hens coop because it runs down and across the jumper down there. I think it pretty well rotted out almost entirely underneath. We lost two of uh, our future laying hens yesterday as well. Old porcelain insulator stuck in there. Uh, we lost two of our old, or our future laying hens yesterday to be into too overcrowded, I think. And then we got them out of that situation and they went into a too cold situation. But it looks like the laying hens have survived outside much better. That they're just a much quicker bird to adapt anyway than the meat birds. But they look just fine back there. All under their heat lamp. Move them over to this fresh spot of grass. Thanks for watching. We really appreciate you joining us on these adventures as we farm our backyard. If you enjoyed this content, please take a minute to like, comment, and subscribe.